Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Castlewood High School, where tonight the Castlewood Blue Devils will take on the visiting Twin Springs Titans. Twin Springs, I think, coming in tonight with a eight and six record, I believe, it's seven and five one. Castlewood coming in. Uh, they're five yeah, and eight. Castle, Big uh, Cumberland District game here at Castlewood. Pretty good crowd, especially from the Twin Springs contingent. Of course, they have always uh, followed their basketball well uh, from Twin Springs High School. Just a reminder, we asked the fans on the home side, please do not stand along the rail. In the game, so the, fans in the, upper section. the uh, Castlewood Blue now, Devils, of course, dressed out in their home white and blue. Twin Springs in solid red uniforms. Number two, Christian Hinkle. Christian Hinkle is number two. Corbin Kilgore, Corbin Kilgore number 12. Will Gerardo. Number 20, Will Gerardo. Jay Wolf, Jay Wolf is number 22. Mullins. Luke Mullins is number 30. Jordan Gillenwater. Jordan Gillenwater is now, number 32. Twin Springs, number one, Brad Owens. Brad Owens for Twin Springs one starter. He's wearing number three, jersey number Connor one. Lane. Connor Lane is number three. Number 14, Justin Reed. Justin Reed is number 14. Number 24, number 24 Elliot. is Mason Elliott. Number 34. 34 Connor is Connor Gilmer. That's the starting five for Twin Springs. Their head coach is Tyler Webb, assisted by uh, Jerry Finch. Tyler Webb, a big boy who played at Twin Springs, went over and had a basketball career at Appalachian State. Uh, number five, Number 10, Nick Number 14, Coleman Cook. Number 20, Dalton Fields. Number 30, Shane Askew. Number 44, Jake. Gross. Ready for the starters now, now for Castlewood. Number two is Dylan Mullins. Number three, Hunter. Number Hicks. three is Hunter Hicks. He'll start tonight. Number fifteen. Number fifteen Jacob is Vance. Jacob Vance. Number thirty-two. Number thirty-two Zach is Zach Owens. Owens. Number 34, Elijah Stafford. And number 34, Elijah Stafford. Brian Summers, of course, the uh, Castlewood head coach. Twin Springs already out on the floor. Castlewood ready also. And we're just about ready to get this one underway. We do have a lady official tonight. She's a good one. I can't remember her name, though. I've seen her work several games, and she's very good. Both teams ready, and we're ready also. Glad you joined us here on ARC TV. I'm Jamie Farley, Ernie Benko, as usual, on the camera. Castlewood out man to man. Lane has it up long range, drives left side, lays it up good. So Hunter Lane wastes no time. Quick bucket for the Titans. Zach Owens has it over to Hunter Hicks. Inside to Elijah Stafford. He's out there. That long range pumps up a three, and that's good. So both teams scoring pretty quickly. It's 3 2 Castlewood. I didn't note the Twin Springs defense. We'll get to that next time Castlewood has the ball. Lob pass in to Brad Owen. Sort of an alley oop type play, and it's successful. 4 3 Castlewood. That's Vance with a three, long range, hits the rim, no good, battle for the rebound. 
Hunter Gilmer down with it for the twin springs. There's a long three, missing everything except the backboard. That was Connor Lane. Ball inside to Stafford. Gets a good look at it. Shoots it a little hard. And I think the uh, Prince Marine's player's shoe is coming in time, so the official stop play. 4-3 Twin Springs leads it here. We're very early in the opening quarter. Kesslewood in the man-to-man -man still. They're switching a lot. Driving along the baseline, the ball knocked away from Lane, but uh, Standing on the line was Jacob Vance, so it'll be Twin Springs basketball. Long three on the way. That one misses. That was Mason Elliott with that shot. Stafford down with the rebound. Owens at long range. Hunter hits in the lane, misses the shot. Then Queen Springs attacks. Long three up there by Brad Owens. Nothing but the bottom of the net. 7-3 now, Queen Springs with the lead. Approaching the five minute mark here in the opening quarter. Once again, Stafford, and this time he gets low, good low box uh, position there, and it makes the layup. Seven five now. Green Springs leads by two. Three out of the corner. Connor Lane up and good. Ten five. Green Springs. to go to Stafford. Ball picked off by Mason Elliott and Twin Springs brings it into the front court. Another three out of the corner. Misses this time. And Owens attacks. Pulls up for about a 15-footer. He's fouled and that one goes good. That foul called on Justin Reed. That's his first team first. So Zach Owens will try for a three-point play here, and he completes it. Makes it 10-8, just over four minutes remaining first quarter. And the ball tries to go inside. Nearly stolen by Hicks, but can't control it. Clint Springs will keep the ball. Another long three. That was no good. Rebound by Hicks in there. He gets it back outside. And the ball stolen by Hicks. And he lays it up good. Now they're all tied up at 10 with 3.30 to go here in the first quarter. Driving down in pipe, that's Justin Reed. Out an eight footer is good. 12 10, Queen Springs with the lead now. There's a three, yep, no good. Brad Owens with the rebound. Hunter Lane with the 
shot, that misses. And we've got a foul on Twin Springs. I think that's on Connor Gilman. That's his first, second team foul on Twin Springs. 2.24 left here opening quarter. Twin Springs up by two. Stafford down the lane on a little pick and roll for Castlewood. Ties it up at 12. Real offensive play that time by the Blue Devil. Pick and roll is as old as basketball itself. Out of the corner, no good. That was Christian Hinkle who's in the game now for the Titans. And it all knocked away from Hunter Hicks. That was Hinkle, but uh, Castlewood will put the ball in play. 12 apiece, their score, minute 37 to go here in the opening quarter. Finds the lane, puts it up with the left hand, and it's good. That one hits, that was on. Over the all the way in and laid it up to give the Devils a two point lead. That's quickly erased. Layup missed by Connor Lane, but then he taps it in. And we're tied up at 14 with a minute to go here, in first quarter. And we get an illegal pick that time called on Stafford. Wasn't much contact there. That's the theme of the year with the officials, though, is an illegal pick. And they didn't really look for him. Drive down the lane, missed. Stafford comes up with the loose ball. And Owens will bring it into the front court. Drives down the lane. In the corner, Jacob Vance misses and Twin Springs now with the rebound. Brad Owens with it. Shot out of the corner, up, no good. That was Jordan Gillenwater in the game. He missed the three, and Owens on the move. He shoots one up there just before the buzzer goes off. Off balance, really good shot there by Zach Owens. That puts Castlewood up by a score of 16 to 14. Great pace game so far here in this first quarter. We'll take a break back with second quarter action. You're watching high school basketball on ARC TV. All right, we're about ready for second quarter action. Hope you enjoyed that first quarter as much as I did. Fast pace, both teams playing very well, and Castlewood will have it to start the second quarter. Owens at long range. Shane Askew in the game now for Castlewood. He's replacing Stafford. Three-pointer up there by Owens. Rims out, no good. Battle for the rebound. Nice offensive rebound by Jacob Vance. Puts Castlewood up by four now. Ball comes loose, Castlewood steals it. Vance on the move. Feeds it off to Hicks. He misses, but David Vance, another offensive rebound. Castlewood goes up quickly by six. That's Dalton Fields in the game instead of Shane Askew. Askew at the scores table, though. He's going to come in here in just a minute. Driving down the lane. 
Christian Hinkle, and he misses the layup. That's the way it has the ball. Hicks drives inside, and he gets fouled. Ask you in the game now, Hunter Hicks will take a seat. It'll be Castlewood's basketball. That last foul was called on Connor Gilman. That was his first, team's third. down the sideline and he is fouled. That foul called on Jordan Gillenwater. That's his second and the team's fourth. So that'll be a non-shooter. Vance will throw it in from the baseline. Three-pointer out of the corner and Jason Vance hits. He's got seven quick points. It's Castlewood up by nine here with 5.55 left in the first half. Driving down the lane, Justin Reed. He makes the bucket and he gets fouled. That foul called on Dalton Fields. Uh, wasn't much contact there. But Reed will try for a three-point play. Makes the free throw. 23-17, Castlewood by six. And that's the foul for the bucket. That was blocked by Brad Owen. Blocked very nicely. The ball will remain with the Castle of Blue Dogs. And throws it away on the inbounds pass. And the shot was missed. Rebounded by Hinkle and put back in. So six quick points, so five quick points here by the Titans. Owens drives left side. Lays it up. Good. 25-19. Castlewood with the lead. We're approaching the five-minute mark here in the second quarter. Good pass into the middle. Not a very good shot. The rebound by Brad Owens. Up and good for the twin Springs. Cut the Castlewood lead back to four. Vance open for three. Ball hits the front of the rim, doesn't go in. Owens with the rebound for Twin Springs. He's quickly in the front court. Three by Owens, no good. Rebound by Twin Springs. They get it back outside. Two-pointer up there, no good. That was Jordan Gillenwater on that shot. Askew drives in the middle. Boy, nice move by the big boy. Made a quick move to his left and canned that basketball. Justin Reed, 27-24, Castlewood leads it. 3.30 to go here in the first half. That's Askew out of the corner. I think that might have been partially blocked. Vance made a nice save. Gives it up, though. 
Christian Hinkle drove the left side there. Made a nice deep and got the shot off. He was fouled by Castlewood. That foul called on Zach Owens. That's his first. The team's third. But Hinkle can tie this game up. So coming to nine back, three springs is rallied here in the second quarter. Hinkle free throw runs out there, no good. Dalton Fields with the rebound. Owens with a three, too strong. Battle for the rebound. It's tied up there. And the jump ball possession will go to Twin Springs. 2.59 left here, first quarter. Castlewood leads it by a point, 27-26. Three-pointer on the way, up in good by Mason Elliott. Puts Twin Springs up by two. Dalton Fields, I'm sorry. Doug Vance has the ball long range there. Gets it off to Hicks. Owens with a three. Way out there. That'll put Castlewood up by a point as we approach the two minute mark here in the second quarter. Jumper from the ring by Connor Lane is up and good and that puts Twin Springs up by a point. A minute 45 to go here in the first half. Vance with a three. That was no good. Hicks with a nice rebound. Tries to go up and he gets fouled. That foul called on Mason Elliott. That's his first team's fifth. Hunter Hicks will have two shots. Opens up. Looked pretty good, but it rattled out there. Dylan Mullins into the game along with Elijah Stafford for Castlewood. Askew and Fields will go out. Hunter Hicks with one more free throw. He can tie this one up if he can make this one. Too strong on that one too, so he misses a pair. Reed down with the rebound for Twin Springs. <laughs> Driving along the baseline there. Mason Elliott puts it up with the left hand and makes it. A little teardrop shot. So that puts Twin Springs up by three now. footer there by Owens comes up short pulled down by Brad Owens he's gotten several defensive rebounds here in the first half and I believe Twin Springs is going to go for one Connor Lane that long range for Twin Springs Clark's counting we're at about 23 now Had a beat on that one, couldn't get it. Ball nearly lost. Three pointer in the air by Mason Elliott. And he scores just as the buzzer goes off. As 
Glenn Sprays with a rally there in the second half of that the second quarter takes a six points lead. It's 36 to 30 in favor of the Titans. Good first half. We'll be back with second half action. You're watching High School Basketball on ARC TV.